Chris is with us talking about all those little things around the house that you can do for yourself. You don't have to get that expensive repair person, but sometimes, I don't know, you try it and then you have to get an expensive repair person to repair what you've done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that can happen, of course. And you write a column. I do. You also sell real estate in your real life. I do. Okay. I do. We were talking about furnace filters. We were. And how complicated they are. They're not. Well, <laughs> they can be if you're not careful. Remember to change them often. That is the most important thing. And when you take the one out that's in there, mm -hmm. look how it's in there, of course. Exactly. That'll tell you how to put the well, next one in. Most right? of them will have a little arrow that arrow says that this end up. up. Right yeah. Yeah, Tom had that the wrong way one time. Tom, I'm sorry I had to say that about you. But that's okay. Well, what happens if you put it in wrong? Well, then the house blows up. Yeah. Oh, then the house blows up. No, it's just not quite as efficient. Okay. Yeah. For those of you, if you're like me and you can't learn by being told, maybe you can learn by being shown so let's take a look <laughs> here's a handy tip that makes changing your filters a breeze before you change the filter turn the system on now take a dust brush and brush all the dust that's stuck to the register because the system is on the dust will get sucked up into the old filter now remove the old filter and replace it with a new one. The airflow will hold the new filter in place and make it easier to latch the register. Carefully relatch the register and you're all done. I'm Chris Prickett and now you too can be a house care hero. How's the hair? <laughs> you also can be a comedian. <laughs> I did a little stand-up in the old days. Did you really? Yeah, until the club that I worked at, I came one night and they closed down, and that was pretty much the end of my career. But you're asked to MC events. I do, I do MC. I've done some of the Veterans Day parades. I've done some of the things at the Anthem High School. Yeah. And uh, yeah, little this, little that. Energy savers. Oh yeah, yeah. These are great, I'll tell you. If there's one thing that you're going to do, if you want to protect the environment, save some money, put in some fluorescent lights. I changed 40 bulbs in my house, okay? You're gonna save about $30 a year per bulb, okay? Per 40 bulb. times 30, now my wife's the accountant, but I believe that's $1,200 a year. For me, that's, that's about 20 tanks of gas. I've pretty much offset you're talking about gas prices mm -hmm. going up, pretty much offset it. The other thing is these last about 10 to 13 times longer than a conventional incandescent light bulb. They're if, a little more so expensive at the onset. They, well, it's about, I, I'd say on average about, these are about three bucks, a regular bulb's about 50 cents. But you're, and you're not messing around changing the bulbs all well, the time. Well, you're so not, and usually these come with a guarantee. Here's a nice little tip. Mm -hmm. Go out and buy 10 bulbs, okay? Keep the receipt. Before you put these in, take a little sharp Sharpie marker and put the date on it. Mm -hmm. When they start to go, if they start to go before the warranty, you take your receipt, you take them back, and you get a new bowl. Ooh. Okay? Yeah. Nice, quick, and easy makes it. Uh, my wife likes that too because it means you save receipts, and she's the accountant. So. <laughs> Tips and hints maybe for our yard. Anything Ooh. that. For your yard, well, the simplest thing, one of the things that I tell people is do not plant or water closer than 24 inches from the house, okay? One of the things we've gotta be concerned about is moisture infiltration into the house. So a lot of people, they love to have the vines and the things mm -hmm. growing against the house, but you got a couple problems here. First of all, in a lot of areas around here, we have expansive soil. It gets wet, it swells, it dries out, it shrinks. That that's an issue, roots growing into the house. Wow. And just water getting under the foundation and seeping into the house. So keep stuff away from the house. That's probably, if I were to give you one tip, that would be the one I've tip. I've got a lot of well, digging to do when I get home. Wait, wait a minute, how do you control Mother Nature? It's gonna rain close to your house. Well, it is, but it's not raining every single day. And again, I'm down in Phoenix where okay. it rains, oh, I okay. don't know, every other year, but there's no, <laughs> but, but they, the drip systems run every day. Right. So. Fantastic <laughs> stuff. Chris, hey, thank you. Thank we, you so much for having me. to have you back on Tanya, the program. It was wonderful. Great, I'd love to great, be here. Great tips. <laughs> when we come back, it is the Daughters of the British Empire used to write there. <laughs>